who hath there cemented himself as a talking horse of 2020 after his victory in the Group 1 Sussex Stakes at Goodwood. He helped his owner, Sheikh Hamdan of Shadwell, become champion owner in Britain last year before taking up stud duties at Nunnery Stud. Tom Pennington of Shadwell speaks to us now about the credentials of the first season sire. Our newest recruit is Mahatha. He's joined our roster for 2021 and he's standing alongside Mahara, Ektadar and Tazlit. He was an exceptional talent, um, trained brilliantly by Marcus Dragoning, bought as a yearling by Angus uh, for 110,000 guineas at Tats, bred by uh, Gay Johnson Horton. He started his career as a two-year-old. He won his group race at two at Newbury in the Horace Hill Stakes. I think it caught a few of us by surprise. He was quite a big price but he demonstrated what a good horse he was there. And we went into the winter course thinking we've got a pretty nice horse on our hands here. And Marcus was keen to treat him as a, a guineas horse. So he went back to Newbury and, and put up a very good performance in the Greenham Stakes, where we really got the first look at that at ph phenomenal turn of foot. Uh, he beat some very good horse in that race too, including Hella Yumzame. But unfortunately after that, he had his setback, which was a great shame. And looking at that guineas now, he would have gone very close, I'd say. Went back to Ascot for the Group 2 Summer Mile and, and there we saw what a horse he really was. I mean, he showed that turn of foot twice and to do that the way he was, it was very impressive. And we thought, here we go, but he still needed that Group 1. Uh, went to the Sussex States at Goodwood, which was arguably the strongest mile race of the year anywhere in Europe. He had the two Guineas winners in there. He had Cameco, Siskin, Circus Maximus, who obviously won at Ascot. And we thought this this is the race of the year really and then i thought here we go again it's asking he got caught in that pocket jim had to pull him take him wide and to show that turn of foot as he did it really stamped him apart from the other milers and short you know showed what we all thought he had that pure class physically he's all there he, as you've seen today he's, he's full of quality uh, he stands just 16 hands just over beautifully balanced horse i think he's blown people away with the way he moves he's super athletic but he's, he's got that great hind quarter and Gaskin. You can see really where he got that turn of foot and acceleration. But he's got that great length to his hip. Um, but as I said, a yeah, great depth and also a great quality. The, the head nine, him, you know, he's, he's all there. He's a brilliant, brilliant looking horse. I think that's what blowing, that's blowing breeders away. If if you produce horses that look hard, anything like him, they'll be away. Book's looking very good. The, the target was. 100 mares by Christmas, we, we've surpassed that, so we're flying along. There's always a, a couple left, so yeah, we'd, we'd um, encourage you to get in quickly and book those last couple of nominations, but no, he's flown along. We're very, very happy with, with how he's gone down. It's obviously been tricky with COVID and lockdowns, etc. but we managed to get them up to Beach House. Um, and I think the fact that people hadn't been able to go racing this year, I think they were pleasantly surprised at what they saw and it actually blew people away and we've got a lot of business done there, which is a great help and testament to the team and the great job they've done. <laughs>